Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I kinda, you know, I find myself hoping for a zanier run. Well, there was a little, oh, cane, that's okay. Look who we got our canes on now. CRC1. Credence, Revival, Clearwater 1. Sounds legit. Only $300 a ticket. <laughs> Sign me up for a half dozen. R8, ZM. Let's move on. I can't think of anything that fits ZM, except for a fucking zebra monocle, but I don't even know where would you even clip it on a zebra. They don't have the morphology and the physiology and a cranial structure to hold it. The last run was a lot of fun, and it was unusual. Pretty much never ended up firing our tears. That's pretty weird. As weird as this sounds, because it's so early, it might be worth walking over those fucking spikes to get the matchstick trinket if we could just find a red heart. It would probably pay out with, you know, maybe 10 or 15 bombs over the course of a whole run. Would I trade one red heart that I could easily replenish for 10 or 15 bombs? Why not, right? Seems like a reasonably good pickup. Um, we'll see. I don't know the answer to that question. Mostly it relies on whether or not a red heart shows up. We ended up using Blue Baby's Friend like the whole run last time. It was great, honestly. I wish I could say something a little bit more bombastic about it, but it won't be necessary because it was really good. Dead Onion. Another pretty solid item, all things considered. Very glad that that is our secret room so that we can uh, get free access to our shop as well. And there's that red heart that we so desire. Why do I like Dead Onion so much? I mean, it does come with a pretty terrible shot speed downgrade. And uh, that negatively affects our effective range to a pretty huge degree, but it's also piercing shots, which makes it pretty nice. Are we going to get a spirit heart in here? Well, you uh, you just wait and see. I would actually love to get, like, Nun's Habit. I didn't even see that there was a Tinted Rock there. We'll open this bad boy up, too. So we're going to get a spirit heart for free regardless, and uh, we're going to add a little bit more money off the top here. With two bombs, we can actually buy Nun's Habit. Truth be told, the... No, that was... Poor play, but it doesn't really matter, I guess. The the best play for us is probably... Oh, man, there's another Spirit Heart. This is awesome for our deal with the Devil chances. Um, truth be told, our best play is probably to buy Blue Candle, because we don't have a Spirit Heart, but... Or, sorry, we don't have a Space Bar item. They start with the same letter, so you got to give me some credit on that one. Um, but I'm, I've been using Candles a lot recently, and they've pretty much been carrying me, so I kind of want to, like, mix it up, you know? Pick up something a little bit more... A little bit more difficult, a little bit more interesting. Not necessarily difficult, but could, uh, you know, help us out in a little bit of an indirect aspect. Admittedly, not super psyched about the amount of damage that I've taken on this uh, Blue Famine fight. Blue Famine's animation on those shots is so fucking fast. Like, he fires it without giving you much leeway at all. So I think he pretty much, you know, ABC, always be circling. We're going to have two extra spirit hearts. We could get a third one if we want to, but I would really like to pick up Nun's Habit. We've we've forsaken Nun's Habit a lot, and it's so good with two charge or two room charge items. No tinted rock here. That incredibly stupid damage. This is like the second... <laughs> it's happened to me a lot recently, uh, where I've stupidly tried to use like an orbital to block shots when I really should not be stupidly using that orbital to block shots, but so be it. All right. I mean, this is still a great floor in spite of my idiocy. Let's throw this down here. We didn't get quite enough money there. That's okay. We got enough money there. We won't be able to get enough to buy the extra spirit heart in addition to this, so I do need to not be an idiot on the next floor and, you know, avoid taking any damage if possible. I would like to get a deal with the devil. I would like to get a space bar item to make our nuns have it a little bit better. For now, though. Cellar Part 2 with piercing shots. How can, you know, how can you complain? What could be greater than Golf with a Gator, you know? Maybe we'll pick up a little bit of money here as well. Nope. Just basically a sinkhole for our time. And if there's one thing I love about Isaac, it's wasting time. Wasted days and wasted now. I swear to God. Dead Onion is so good if I could just not have to fight these bullshit enemies. At least we have piercing shots for these enemies, but the shot speed and the range are so low that I gotta be right next to them, yet our damage is still low enough that we don't kill those spiders in one hit, which makes it a liability to get that close. Look at this shit! Get out of here, freaking... What are you doing? Fudge off, okay? I don't have time to deal with your riffraff right now and your extraordinary locomotive capacities. Stay the fudge away, okay? 
I'm gonna fricassee you. I don't even know what that means, to be honest. I wouldn't even know how to spell it, so I can't look it up on Wikipedia. What the hell? I'm actually getting a little ornery. How he took another I thought for sure he'd be dead at the next shot. Alright, well, you know. Guess we'll take Child's Heart for now. It's theoretically possible that we'll just flip and die with our next uh, attack here. So let's try to find some red hearts. Okay, then I feel like less crazy about it now. Infamy is great, and it means we have a much greater chance indirectly of getting like Bob's brain, I think, because um, we are. Well, we're going to get some items from Golden Chest. You get Able every run, you get Infamy every run, you get Bob's Brain every run. To get Infamy from an item room means I think we have a pretty good chance of getting Able or Bob's Brain from a Golden Chest. Or Fate, for that matter. Fate shows up pretty much every run, if we're going to be fair. Do we really want to roll Child's Heart instead of Matchstick? Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't really see why not. Yes, good. Trap him. Now, here's the ultimate, like, moment of truth. Lucky me. Uh, do I want to fight the boss or try to find like a spirit heart? I think I'm just going to fight the boss. I was operating under the assumption that it would be the haunt, so it's not like this is taking me super by surprise and I'm like, ah, damn it, man, I made a huge mistake. Nah, it's pretty much working as intended. And, you know, there's a pretty realistic chance that I take damage here, but we're going to try not to. This is pretty much the name of the Just let the music take you away. Let we the best sound take you away. Hold up. Say my name. Fucking idiot? Yes, that's that's me. I'm fucking idiot. Alright, we got the belts. Lovely. I will use one of our bombs to make sure that we don't die. I can't believe I took damage dropping a bomb to attack the haunt. I, I can sort of believe it. Well, now we can go to our curse room if we get like another red heart drop. I do think Child's Heart is better than the matchstick just because HP is more valuable than bombs in my worldview. You may disagree. I walked straight into that enemy. I'm losing it. I want to lose the streak. That's what's happening right now. My my brain is my subconscious is sending me a message that's like, you know, lose the streak, lose the streak. I'm gonna make you play bad. You're gonna lose the streak. I don't want to lose the streak. I'm playing zany enough. We finally hit a happy medium where only 70% of people are filled with vitriol at, at my mistakes and my style of play. Let's just enjoy it. Now. Range upgrades would be sick. Maybe just like one or two or a shot speed upgrade because that would increase our effective range. I I don't like this. Oh, there's a tinted rock. We don't have any bombs. Should have taken the matchstick in on this room. I'm, I'm saving the temperance card. Not a good play on my part. I'm saving the temperance card because there's a pretty realistic chance. Uh... We should use the Temperance card on this floor now. It's so fucked up. This makes, like, almost no sense. But I'm gonna try it. See, I... <laughs> I got one free play out of it. Okay, we got Dead Cat. We might as well pick it up if we're gonna leave. Now, this will still give us... Oh, shit. Will this kill me if I pick it up? I... This is gonna sound so stupid. I've got to leave. Where's our penny? We earned a penny there. I've, I've got to leave. Let's check out our secret room. You might be wondering what the fuck is Northern Lion doing. Don't worry about it. The fact that we have now picked up... Uh... Are we going to get anything here? I don't think so. The fact that we've now picked up um, bombs means I could kill myself on the secret room and thus spawn outside of the secret room. But I was worried that it would lower us to uh, one half red heart and then I would just have to keep walking out every single time and I would just die. Because I had no ways of teleport, no way of teleporting, so I was like, okay, instead we'll take the sun card, and then we can make something happen there. Uh, so what we'll probably end up doing is buying that spirit heart. But for now, we can bomb our way out or use the sun card. We can also bomb this shit open, which we should really do. And we got a second sun card. So it would have given us one full HP. So that's that's me being a little bit of an idiot, but what's done is done. We've got nine lives. We pretty much have a 100% deal with the devil chance. As long as I can just not take spirit hard damage. So I think the nine lives pickup is pretty good because I was making terrible decisions and playing like a fucking idiot. 
I guess we're just going to leave and hope for a deal with the devil on the next floor. And what's weird, and I, you know, sometimes people are like, oh, the world's not fair. And I'm like, you know what? This makes me think that you're probably right because I don't deserve the fact, or I don't deserve what I just got. But I did just get it, and I would be, you know, I have to be very ungrateful to not take it. But I'll be grateful enough to say thank you as well. Thank you for nine lives. Gives me a new lease on life. We'll probably end up losing a few of those lives. I hope it doesn't happen on this floor because I really want to get uh, this deal with the devil sorted out sooner rather than later. What do I need on this run? With dead onion? Fucking like... What? It's not growth hormones. I always forget. The green one. What's the green one? Roid rage? Might be roid rage. Give me some roid rage action, man. I can barely hit these enemies. If an enemy has like a shot that has almost no animation associated with it, I can't get close to them. Like these guys I can get close to because if they, well I was lucky. If they shoot a bomb, I stand a pretty good chance of being able to get out of the way. But if they shot like a bullet, no chance. See, that's a textbook example of it right there. Also I don't like this guy because he's moving real quick. Makes him harder to hit. Stay away from me. Curse of the Maze, I love it every time. Definitely does not make me super nauseous. I'm, com I'm getting a little complainy. I apologize for that. What do I have to complain about? I'm doing well. You know, we've had good runs recently. Uh, some silliness, some, some good mechanics, some poor play, but some good stuff as well. This is... It's a quintessential Northern Lion fuck-up, though, if we get hit here. I don't even care about losing the life. It's losing the deal with the devil option. Can we, like, this is how far we can make our shots go if we completely run for it, which is insane. But anyway, I'm I'm losing my deals with the devil, and that's how we slowly slip into not being able to beat this run. So I really, 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 really need to not do that. And the other thing that would help is if at least, you know, turn this into a full-fledged Azazel run. If you're already going to give us no range, at least give me the ability to have uh, high enough damage to kill spiders in one hit. Which is, you know, I'll take some... Uh, They'll take a lot of the responsibility. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah, uh, I had a feeling that might happen at some point. I'll take a lot of the responsibility for this, but at the same time, that early dead onion pickup is kind of fucking me a little bit. Wouldn't... I think you got to agree a little bit on that one. Sorry, what? I'm a little confused. I guess because of the... We had like a weird occlusion there, so I couldn't really see the uh, the way that that was going to go, but that was freaking me out. Um, good thing we have enough keys. Like, I, I also feel like in a way, we're kind of in an incredibly shitty position as a result of this exceptionally low range without proportionally much, much higher damage. Now, I'm not throwing this run. Like I said, I expected to lose some lives. I had a feeling it might even happen on this floor, so I'm, I'm mostly excited uh, about our chances here. Got a spirit art out of that, which is awesome. There's also a battery back here. Crystal ball. One of the best items in the game for sure. We can afford to go to our curse room now as far as I'm concerned. These spiders are my worst fucking nightmare, man. Takes us like two to four hits to kill them depending on the size of them. And they're fast. We got some more bombs for our troubles there. I don't really want to go to any extra rooms that we don't have to go to. I almost want to use the sun card on this next room because I know it's going to piss me off. So I'm going to do something I, I very rarely do. I'm just going to bomb my way out of that room. Now if we die, I think we respawn on shit room. So I'm going to try to avoid letting that happen. I'm fighting, you know, in a very unorthodox kind of way for my personal tastes. But it's very rare to have a run with as low speed as the, or as low range as this. Good. And this is a run where I could totally see that if you're watching at home, you would be like, man, Northern Lion sucks. I encourage you, and I mean this sincerely. Tempted to get that. No! <laughs> oh. Fuck you, Curse of the Maze. Fuck you, Curse of the Maze. I encourage you to uh, to watch or to play along at home, and hopefully you got the same item uh, right off the bat that I did. I'm still I would take Toxic Onion 
or a dead onion 100% of the time on that first item room. Because I do think in the late game, it improves our chances quite nicely. But right now, I'm displeased with my performance as a byproduct of it. Not as a necessarily 100% guaranteed direct result, but I do feel like uh, it's, it's inhibiting my play somewhat. Oh, good. So I'll, I'll be a little reckless here and I'll pick up the spirit heart and the pick up of the spirit heart pff, Fuck everything forever. I'm an idiot. Pick up the spirit heart was mostly designed to give me a better chance on this deal with the devil. Now, I need to take a second to talk to myself here. 48 hour energy is a crazy good pickup. Two of clubs, maybe not that effective, but the spirit hearts are nuts. Okay, this is, this is a little shot of redemption for me. You've been playing badly. Recognize that. You've been playing badly. This boss fight is gonna be fucked up too. You might even die on this boss fight, okay? But just accept that, and uh, and then you're gonna try to play better in the future because, you know, the people deserve a they deserve a show here. I'll use both of these bombs. I don't care. We need to give the people what they want. We need to play a little bit better. I'm not gonna be proud of myself if I end up losing this run like this. It's not like we got you know mom's knife and I'm just throwing the shit out of this run. It is a run that has some fairly unique kind of pressures going on here. At the same time. Just need to relax, I think, a little bit. Accept that uh, you know you're probably gonna take a little bit more damage than you'd like to take, and and then just get in there and, and do your best and recover. We can. No one ever remembers, you know, how the first two floors of a winning run went. If the run ends up being crazy good, this is a great start. We pick up some extra damage in range, and then uh, we get we can take one of these. I think we have to take the extra stats from Horror of Babylon. Even though we could very easily lose it, I think we have to. And we'll, f you know, Crystal Ball should allow us to get a lot of Spirit Hearts as well. So now that we have kind of grossly increased damage and uh, slightly, maybe even more than slightly increased range, we should be a much more, you know, potent kind of target here, or potent kind of killer here, which is great for us. And we're not killing these in one hit yet, but we're. Maybe not taking the same number that we would have taken before, so it's a good start. Spiders? Yeah, spiders are going down in one hit. Okay, this is where we've recovered from this. I don't think it's necessarily due to great play as much as great luck, but I appreciate it no matter what it takes. No matter what it took, I should say. Let's not talk about this as if it's one yet. Let's see if we can do some damage to this guy. We gotta clear out, like, unescape path. Because our shot speed is still so fucking low. Cool. Temperance, not that immediately useful, I guess, but do we know where we do know where a secret room is, so we can use uh, temperance and blow it up right next to the secret room. It's amazing, like contrast this room this time with this room uh, on the last floor where I struggled so hard. A lot of people, by the way, might have taken fool. Interesting for boss rush, but that's not going to happen for us. Um, a lot of people might have taken Lord of the Pit instead. I don't think that's the wrong choice. At all, actually. I think if you had to call it, that might even be the quote-unquote right choice. But I've, I've made my decision out of a, you know, a respect for the importance of damage. And I'm going to keep it that way. So we're going to pop down Temperance, blow it up. Hopefully get uh, some kind of consumables in return. Not useful ones, but that's okay. We got three bombs back. My favorite alt-rock band of the late 90s and early 2000s. Three bombs back. Ruka, don't ever stretch your foot at me ever again. I'm in the zone right now. Ruka's my cat, not my child. I guess that doesn't make it better. He knows I'm joking. He's got a very well-developed sense of humor for, you know, a cat. Okay, this is again a fight of extraordinary value here. You remember that Sean Connery movie, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen? Gentlemen? No, nobody does. It was a trick question. I saw it in theaters. It's not very good. Don't go out of your way to watch it now. However, if uh, we get a deal with the devil and a deal with the devil item from the Fallen, life's great. Well, we got a deal with the devil item, it sucks, and uh, we got uh, no deal with the devil. Sing it with me, you can't always get what you want. Is there a curse? There is a curse room on this floor, so we can either um, teleport out of the curse room or we can teleport out of like our boss trap room. But I don't really want to teleport out of our boss trap room because then going to the cursed room would literally kill us and we'd respawn without Horror of Babylon. Like, this life has some 
serious importance because of this... Oh, two of clubs. Okay, it has some serious importance thanks to this Whore of Babylon thing. I can't uh, open that, so we can't even fight in there if we wanted to. What do you think? Curse room? It's kind of a risk, isn't it? That allows us to go to our shop, though, where we can probably buy a spirit heart in there. Uh, okay, contract from below. For free, great pickup. I didn't take the fool card, I took the fucking sun card. Oh, bury me with my own idiocy. Well, at least we're getting some crystal ball charges. And hey, there you go. We're still going to have Horror Babylon. Look. Brain's getting sloppy, knees weak, arms are heavy, there's vomit on my sweater already. You know the rest of the fucking drill. Remember that when I take that Hierophant card, I didn't have to die to get it. <laughs> it's not like I've made a good decision now, like that vindicates my earlier decisions. So many sun cards here. That's Honestly, that's kind of what I was hoping for, was a, a demon judgment there. Come on, demon judgment. We do have contract from below. Let's see if we get some black cards out of this. We did just get a like a two of clubs card, so I figured we had a little extra leeway. Uh, we can no. We're gonna go to the shop. Why is my brain so broken on this run? Maybe it's be I, honestly to some extent. I think it's because our last run was relatively easy. So my brain was like, this game isn't even hard. And some people might even agree with that, but. I I I want to give a better show right now. I'm not playing very well, but weirdly enough, we're still in an okay position, largely due to like a very fortuitous deal with the devil on the last floor. Might even be able to buy like a real item from our shop. Contract from below. I love you. You might have it. This might not be an overstatement. You might have literally saved our run with that pickup right there. Who knows? You know, even if this only gives me. Two spirit hearts, three spirit hearts, or it gives me some tarot cards or something like that. Crazy good. So we're we're avoiding using it just for now. Like two 48 hour energy pills, that could put me almost to the HP cap, as ridiculous as it sounds. And we're gonna have a perfect number of rooms to get a charge, assuming we don't get hit, in which case we'll overcharge it a little bit. Beautiful. Okay, so we'll take it. 48 hour energy, another two batteries plus a full charge. Oh, this is majestic. This is a maligned Jim Carrey film from 2003. Now we're gonna avoid taking two of spades yet because we might get uh, another two of spades out of it here. Now that I think about it, why wouldn't we do it in that situation? It doesn't matter. Judgment. All right, we'll put that next to the other demon judgment just on the off chance we can make that happen. We got the hero fonts again. And another spirit heart. Look. Straight up, 100% extraordinary luck. I can't really offer too much in my own defense there, here. Um, but this this might end up being the floor that turns this shit all the way around for us. You know what? Yeah. I want to get this judgment to pay out. Fuck the shop for now. Get this judgment to pay out. He pays out with an HP upgrade. That allows me to play the demon judgment more effectively. Pretty much exactly how that shit went down. Now we can actually get a full health of healing out of the hearts. I botched that a little bit. Hasn't paid out yet, but there's still uh, there's still red hearts available for us here. Plus, the more we do this, the more we are getting uh, a charge on our crystal ball. So we're definitely going to get at least one more. And I will tell you flat out, poor play. I don't deserve to be in the position that I'm in on this run, but I'm in the position that I'm in on this run. And uh, that, that gives me some good chances. The evil up is fine. You know, missing page two is not that amazing, but I'll take it. Now, what do we want to take with us here? We got the sun. We got the devil. Uh, I think we take the sun. And really, just a staggeringly useful floor. I got incredibly lucky. Thank you to RN Jesus for deciding that um, in spite of my idiocy, he's going to reward me a little bit. And then we'll be on our merry way. In particular, that series of 48 hour energy pills. I think that would have found it. That series of 48 hour energy pills was just stupid good. Don't even talk about the curse room play. That was I don't want to talk about that one anymore. That had I, I might still do that room, but it would be easier to motivate me to do it 
if it had red chests on it. Just, you know, in case that's your number one concern for the future, that would really help me out. We can see where we're going. There is a curse room. It's a justice card. I had a feeling that I might find the secret room. I got kind of lucky that it did. All right, so our special rooms are over there. Our curse room is over here. Three extra bombs. Let's go hit up a uh, shop and item room first. I might even have enough money to buy something from the shop on this floor. I said that on the last floor, but then we ended up, you know, spending our money on Judgment instead, which gave us an HP upgrade, which allowed us to get a payout from the Demon Judgment. So, I feel like I'm somewhat vindicated in that. Man, with low shot speed, these tractor beams can fuck you pretty hard. Yeah. Uh, I, you know, I lay the blame for that at my own feet as well, but... Kind of a rough play. We on Necropolis? Honestly, if we're on Necropolis, oh, we're on Depths. <laughs> I was going to say, if we're on Necropolis and doing this relatively well, I don't feel too bad about things. But still, I, I don't feel too bad about things. We've gotten extremely lucky recently. Case in point, that fucking infamy play right there. Much appreciated. Now, what we should do, if it's at all possible, is uh, save enough money to spawn an arcade on the next floor. Even if we have to blow up a, a blood or an, a donation machine to do it, I will sign myself up for that any day of the week right now because it does mean uh, you know we have nuns habit basically so we'd be able to get a ton of value out of it another justice card another spirit heart out of it we don't really want this we already basically have deck of cards but we'll double our money at least we walked into the room we got 12 cents there are worse shitty item rooms than that and fighting greed definitely guarantees that we will stay above the necessary level of money that we need on this floor in order to Get uh, the chance at the arcade on the next floor, which is awesome. We picked up another two keys as a result as well. So maybe not the enormous coup that I was hoping to get up here, but it is what it is. And we'll hit every room on the way back uh, for maximum chance to get uh, the best possible outcomes from our crystal ball here. That is not a smart play on my part. But hey, in a way, it does help us you know, get a little bit closer to uh, another payout. Whether or not that's worth the... Half spirit art that it took is probably debatable, and by debatable I mean not debatable, objectively bad, but or objectively false, but it is what it is, isn't it? Pretty much by definition. I don't know. This is one of the ones, you know, previously on some runs when I when I'm like, I don't wanna call it yet. That it's not that I'm sandbagging, but I'm more confident than non-confident. But I'm not like 90% confident, so why don't... Yeah, we'll take this for sure. So why don't want to call it? This run, call it like a win or call it a loss. This, this run is one of the few runs, one of the very... Thank you, Infamy. One of the very low percentage of runs where I... I I'm on the fence right now. I feel like... That was terrible play. Emperor... Sun's a little better, um, for now. Emperor gets a lot better in the late game, but... It is, uh, it's one of those runs where I feel like this could go either way. Completely. Like, I'm, I'm not 50%, or, I'm, sorry, I'm not like 70%, 30%, I'm like 50-50 on the nose. Thank you for the guppy item. Alright, so if we become guppy, then my, my fears get alleviated quite a lot more. We have two guppy items now. And a deal with the devil on this floor could really be the difference. Can't get that key, but at this point it probably doesn't matter that much. May or may not get another um, charge on our crystal ball, but it may or may not really... Uh, well, now we definitely will. May or may not matter. I should probably save it for the next floor anyway, even if we fight Krampus. Being able to pop that right off the bat and figure out what room we're going to does carry you know, a certain amount of advantage to it. Fast Monster of Two should not have hit me. I stood close to him because our range is low, but also, you know, to make myself somewhat culpable, I also stood close to him because, uh, Ball of Bandages still does a not insignificant amount of damage, which is a bad habit that, if I'm being realistic, I will probably never break. The Moon Card, also Super Bandage, which is awesome. And again, I shouldn't have used this yet, but that's okay. Um, Let's try to throw in like one bomb. I'll even throw in a second one. I'll even throw in a third one because I missed this. I'll even throw in a fourth one because I'm an idiot. I'll even throw in a fifth one because now it's just a joke. There we go. Really wish that that was a lump of coal, but it's a relatively minor problem either way. We'll head down to the next floor. Can't really, you know, use our sun card on this floor. 
Please deal with the devil on the next floor. I don't I don't think we've earned it, but I can ask for it anyway. So our HP is up there now. Uh, the other thing we really want on this floor is an arcade, and I think probably the smart money is on us having an arcade on this floor. We'll see as soon as Crystal Ball is ready to go. Yeah, yep, yep. <laughs> I'm like, these guys, I actually want to play chicken with them because it's a lot easier to hit them in these corridors when we have piercing shots. Penetrative shots, whatever you want to call them. No arcade. It's a disappointment. We are going the right way to see some interesting rooms, though. You know what would actually work really well? I mean, this is a no-brainer if you've had a lot of runs with penetrative tears, but uh, piercing shots would be awesome. If this was a run reroll, I would have actually absolutely taken it. And we'll take our spirit heart pick up there, and we'll take our spirit heart pick up there. Oh, we're at the HP cab. Never mind. That's great. Not going to complain about it. We can hit all these enemies, which is a nice change of pace. Sometimes uh, you do find yourself in an unfortunate position where that's just not possible. Sister Maggie, if needed, could actually get to the mall as well. We could also hit it from the other side, which would probably be a little bit uh, more doable. Monstro's Lung. Yeah, okay. The disadvantage with this is that we have a relatively low rate of fire, so it would be... Uh, you know, it, it takes a while for us to get our shots fully charged, but the advantage is that we can walk... Don't talk about it. The advantage is that we can walk into a room with a fully charged shot, and as a result, basically pick up a kill or multiple kills right off the bat. It's not 100% objectively the best choice, but I do think that if we play our cards right, it's a substantial upgrade for us. I'm not trying to sell this as if it's a bad thing. It's a great thing, what we just got. The only question is whether we'll be able to uh, use it as effectively as it's you know capable of being used. That was, for example, a terrible play. Yeah, I think this does give us a much better chance of success. We'll definitely go into our curse room. Yeah, that was an illustration, I think, of, of the kind of amazing stuff that we can accomplish if we get to use this item properly. Guppy, guppy, no guppy. That's okay. Paralysis, it's good to know so we don't take it accidentally in the future. And Amnesia uh, is, is honestly not that bad. We don't need a, like a sun card won't help us here. So we'll just continue taking our sun card down to the point where eventually we'll use it for a full health pill, I'm sure. Or maybe as, I mean, we wouldn't, we shouldn't need it for a compass or anything like that. Yeah, that monster's lung pickup I think is actually an extraordinary boost for us. Two paralysis pills. Pretty opportune time to take that. Uh, I don't remember everything about the way that this floor looks. But having already gone to our item room and gotten Monstro's Lung, I know that as soon as we find our boss, I can just leave. Now, could get the stopwatch. What's our pill? Pheromones. I don't... I still don't really like the stopwatch. But I'll tuck in here for a minute and I'll donate uh, a lot of money. As much as we can, anyway. I do make good use out of the donation bank now. At least, uh, maybe not good use. I don't want to toot my own horn necessarily, you know, too much here. But if we donate, like, 15 cents... Per run, per run where we can afford it at least, then that's uh, that's pretty good. That's gonna keep us in the in the black there. So, uh, Pandora's box. I'm gonna use it basically for another twenty cents, and that's you know probably something a lot of people would consider suboptimal, but I gotta stick with this crystal ball for now. If you're mad that I don't take the stopwatch, I don't mean to be rude, and I mean that sincerely because uh, you know it's in my Canadian nature to be polite. However, get over it is uh, the advice that I would give you because it, uh, you know, I have to, I have to admit that my own enjoyment is kind of paramount in these situations, you know? I don't, I don't really care about those bombs. You know, if you, the, the way you get to a thousand episodes of something is by, or nearly a thousand, I don't want to oversell how much I played vanilla, but, uh, is, is by really truly enjoying the fact that you're playing it. And the quickest way to kill that enjoyment is to just, you know, not play the way that you like to play the game. Man, are you a wizard with monsters long? Might do nothing. It, I think it does something, but it's not that bad. It, it seems to like nearly get canceled out. Um, so yeah, you know, I, I don't want to take items that ruin my enjoyment of the game because then maybe I like Rebirth one percent less the next time I play it. That can add up, man. That's the key for me. The key factor in the science of motivation. People are like, "How do you motivate yourself to do something a lot?" 
How do you motivate yourself to work? How do you motivate yourself to exercise? How do you motivate yourself to eat right? Maybe I'm not the right guy to ask about those other two, but in my experience, you know, when I have done that stuff, it's all about making it, uh, you know, it's all about consistency, and the easiest way to be consistent is to really enjoy the shit out of what you're doing. The Fool card is not worth anything for us here. The fact that we got no deal with the Devil is pain in the butt. Really should not have used Crystal Ball right away. Should have saved it until right now. We could use our Sun card, and then that would help out, but I don't think it's that valuable. This is a, a potent and important floor for us. Oh, that's the good stuff right there! Okay. Definitely this. Definitely Guppy's Paw. This is a win. This run is now one. Yeah, we're Guppy. Uh, for a second, I couldn't see the tail because we're kind of small, but uh, th this is over. And this was not an easy win, but it <laughs> it's weird, right? Because it wasn't an easy win, but it was a win where we got carried. And it wasn't really that hard to get carried. Long story short, I don't know really what I'm talking about. Empress. Sure, you know what? That's fine by me. We're not even going to use Crystal Ball yet. We'll save it for the next floor or whenever we need a Spirit Heart or something. Um, it, it's an unusual run. We don't need to go to our Curse Room anymore. We can definitely afford to drop the left hand. Again, that's a, this is yet another example of the left hand coming through in the clutch here. And, uh, and getting us that Guppy payout. I'll go to our... Dice room? I'm not re-rolling our run. We fought hard for this one. Uh, I'll re-roll the run. I'm gonna re-roll the run. I'm gonna re-roll the run. First, I'm gonna put some... Oh, I'm... That will re-roll Cricket's head, too. I don't know. Uh, okay, I'm gonna use Crystal Ball first to hopefully put some Spirit Hearts on the ground. I don't know if those get re-rolled or what the hell's gonna happen. I'm gonna take the Empress card. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave Cricket's head in there because it's gonna get re-rolled one way or the other anyway. I think we might as well uh, we might as well re-roll it so we can see what it is when we pick it up. All right, we're still Guppy. I forgot that that wouldn't change. We got Proptosis, Money equals Power, Bob's Brain, Big Fan. I'll take Skinny Odd Mushroom. Got the Hierophant card. Is this good? Is this bad? Should I be feeling bad? Should I be feeling good? It's kind of sad being the laughing stock of the neighborhood. But I think I should be moving on, because I'm a sucker, like I said. Fucked up in the head, not. I think I might have $3 bill. Because my tears were red earlier, now they are not red. Unless I had Whore of Babylon, and then I ruined it by picking up HP. Truth be told, I, I actually forgot that we get to stay Guppy. Uh, oh, we have Little Brimstone, too. I really should have noticed that one. Um, but um, I forgot that we uh, stay Guppy. Now, hopefully, we get a deal with the devil, because I would totally take the nail in this situation. But um, this this reroll is actually great. We don't have piercing shots anymore, but we got Proptosis, which is an amazing item. Uh, we're still Guppy. We got Bob's Brain, which, if you can use it effectively, why not? Lost one HP. Did we pick up anything? I don't know. Our rate of fire seems about the same. It's hard to judge the other things, just from the first glance here. And uh, Little Brimstone, an amazing pickup as well. Really, this is just... Uh, it's a situation where we had a great run, re-rolled it, and also came out the other side with a great run. I don't think it really matters which one's better, which one's worse. Is that what is giving us that invincibility? Is it Celtic Cross? I figured we might as well try this out because you know I want to get. Uh... Oh, we have Mystery Sack as well. We must have the wafer. I only took half a heart there. I think, unless it took a Spirit Heart. No, I think we have the wafer. Picked up a small damage bonus there. Like, this this should be a win now. It should be pretty much guaranteed to win. Yeah, it's worth it. If we can get up to 99 cents now, I would very much like to. I always shit talk money equals power. I'm like, oh, there's such a low percentage chance of it actually showing up. But it shows up all the fucking time. <laughs> I don't know what causes it. But, um, you know, I guess I'm happy about it. We might even have Maggie's bow, because when we picked up that H... Wait, that took a full heart. Alright, I don't know what's going on here. In any case, we're going to leave. <laughs> We, we're doing fine on money. Oh, yeah, at first I was like, yeah, I'm really committed to the idea. And then one fucking setback showed up, and I'm like, nah. It's not that important. Oh, you know what it is? We have Placenta. I should pick up that scent. That's .04 damage, man. I keep second-guessing myself about those, those rocks. I thought they might be tinted. Is the increase in the size of our shots really a res Oh, you know what it is? We have Bloody Lust. So we should actually play that Blood Bank some more to try to get IV Bag. Bloody Lust plus Money equals Power seems like a great combination. That's what Game Hero told me anyway. So we're going to come back here and we're going to play the bejesus out of this. 
it gave us fucking IV bag. I'm so happy. <laughs> I might not sound like it, but it's like my ideal Samson outcome. And we're not even Samson. We, I mean, we're functionally Samson now, I guess. Oh, this is so nice. All right. Every time we use Bloody Lust, or every, sorry, every time we use IV Bag, we get a damage bonus for the floor and a permanent smaller damage bonus as a result of uh, money equals power. It's just a fantastic situation to be in. You see how quickly the tears took care of that shit right there? We're up to the Cathedral. This is a one run, and it's been a fun one run. This is coming up to the point where it'll tie our second best streak ever, I think. Which I think is pretty, it's pretty awesome. We had like a 25 win streak. Then we went through some shit. And then we had a 12 win streak. We lost a couple of times. And we're coming back with another 12 win streak like right on top of that. I think that's pretty cool. IV bag, unfortunately, does still cause me to take damage. Even when I'm invincible. So we can't cheat the system that way. But it's still worth it to get the damage bonus for sure. And there's the spirit heart we're going to lose upon leaving. It sucks to lose the crystal ball, but the extra damage that we're putting out here, um, it, it makes it not suck so much. Especially considering we kept our guppiness, which I always forget about. Because pretty much, it's hard to imagine a run with guppy where you still lose. So I wouldn't have been such a big baby about, uh, about, uh, this run if I'd known that, or if I'd remembered. Because I didn't know, I just didn't remember. Anyway. I don't really want to reroll our run again because we're in the most dreamy situation we can possibly be in. That even helps a little bit. Please don't make me reroll it again. Four. I don't even know what it does. So I don't care. Why not take the Eternal Heart? Because it's going to make me hesitant to. What the heck did that? Maybe it rerolled all the items that are on pedestals or something. Um, it's going to make me hesitant to use uh, IV bag, so I don't want to do it. Explosive Diarrhea, huh? What's our other one? Empress. Empress. I mean, Empress is pretty good. We're not going to need it, but we don't need anything, so we might as well take it. It's actually kind of freaking me out here. Like, the size of our tears is, is making me feel weird. Maybe we don't have... Maybe we have... Uh, is it Cancer? Or Yeah, I think it's Cancer. The one that gives you the wafer effect after you hit yourself once on the room. In which case, yeah, we totally do. Okay, so we can pretty much get to 99 cents guaranteed here. Uh, wow, we didn't get any payouts from uh, Bloody Penny after the point that I'd asked about that. That's kind of surprising. Anyway, down to the next floor. We don't have a left hand to worry about. This is lovely. This is going to be like the, the slowest time through uh, Depths 2 and then the fastest time through the rest of the game. Dude is a shadow. Game Kid. Wafer, which overrides it, I guess, and shoot the whoop. I'm going to take the Game Kid, like, into this room. My hope was that we'd gain a little bit of HP. And we did gain a little bit of HP, which uh, allows me to come back here and basically just IV bag the shit out of things. One, two, three, four, five. So we did five plays, and then we'll do six, seven, eight. That takes us to the maximum uh, damage bonus that we can get here. And we already have 99 cents, so we can say goodbye to IV Bag and roll like Shoop the Whoop or something. But why would we ever choose to roll Shoop the Whoop in this situation? When we, uh, you know, basically we kill enemies as soon as we walk into the room. This is legitimately some of the highest damage I've ever had, and it's weird because it's not... Oh man, the relic as well? I can barely see it. Tammy's head! Tammy's head is what we want here. It's weird because we don't have any of the, like, traditional huge upgrades, but yeah. Alright. We have, like, sad bombs or something? Nope. This fight is over already. That is absurd. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that run. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.